head volleyball coach, Kathy Bullock. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time to talk to us today. So, getting to the stretch of the season, right. how do you feel thus far being 11-10 overall and we're 4-6 and six in the conference? I feel like we're in a good place. Um, we're in a good position to, you know, as, as a former track runner, come, come up from behind. Uh, we don't have a lot of pressure on us. So I think you have a lot of pressure when you get the top, top teams in the conference. So um, we're slightly relaxed, but know that we need to make sure we're competing well and doing some money this upcoming week. So prior to this week, we faced Farron, took the first set 25-18, dropped the next set 25-19, but your team bounced right back, winning the next two, and both Shayla Moss and Daniel their team kills. What did you want to take from that match? Well, we're just trying to get some consistency overall. And, um, you know, we're finding, I call, I always say we're picking, we're picking and choosing. Mm -hmm. So we're finding days where we have our outsides that are performing well and then our middles are performing well. So we're trying to get on the same page. And we don't have to get on the pa same page until the day we win the championship, but we do have to try to get some consistency along the way. Um, you know, if the outside hitters perform well on Tuesday, then they need to perform well on Thursday. So we're having a lot of conversations about being consistently good. Speaking of consistency and Thursday, Thursday you traveled to your Crosstown rivals, the Quakers, at Gopher College. A little bit of a hiccup there, um, dropped match 3-1. What did you want the girls to work on this week to take into coming into this week? Um, I think we lack focus on Thursday. Um, and they all knew that it wasn't a conference match and we've, you know, been focusing a lot on, you know, staying poised and disciplined and, and um, you know, they, they took a break to get prepared for Saturday. And, and like I told them that day, if you take a break, then when you get ready to start back up, you may not be able to get to where you need to be. So we, we struggled a little bit on Saturday because of that Thursday's match, mm -hmm. um, as well as we're trying to overcome some injuries to some of our starters and it was their first day back on Saturday where, you know, um, Evan Shearer didn't uh, play at all on Thursday. So anytime we have any changes or adversity, we, we struggle a bit with trying to move forward. And Evan was back on Saturday, but she was probably at about 20%. So she, she performed well, she was out there and, and um, she didn't perform well in the first match, but she started getting catching the rhythm in the second. So. I'm looking forward to, to catch our rhythm back coming this Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Just like you said, you faced a little bit of adversity, dropped the first match of the USA South quad tournament on Saturday against Meredith College, but once again, your girls bounced right back right. and took the next match against Pfeiffer, took it 3-0. So once again, a few changes had to be made, but you guys came out on top in the end, came back with a win. So looking up towards this week, we're gonna you're gonna celebrate Senior Day. Oh, yeah. So, and you're going to play William Peace University, 7 p.m. in the Haynes Gymnasium. What are your expectations for that match? Um, my expectation is for us to win. The seniors were very upset when we played them at William Peace. It was a hostile environment. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we were not quite ready for that atmosphere. And we've overcome a lot of adversities. And this is a big week for Pride Volleyball. Uh, to perform and it'll be a, a good time for us to start peaking. And once again, celebrating Senior Day in Haynes Gymnasium on Wednesday at 7 p.m. And then right after that, USA South quad match in Fayetteville at Methodist University. Expect to come home with two wins? Absolutely. And what are your plans going on for that? Well, we're, we're trying to, like I said, catch a rhythm and start peaking. Mm -hmm. um, you know, these three matches are pretty big. The main one is North Carolina Westland because we're sitting right there, um, you know, kind of there right behind us. And we're trying to make sure that we're in a great position to be successful going into the tournament because when the tournament starts, it's 0-0. So we're just trying to win as much as we can throughout the rest of the season for the next two weeks and, you know, learn along the way and, and continue to get better and then be ready to compete for the championship come October 31st. Well, good luck on the rest of your season, and we will be seeing you guys on Wednesday.